Vidura College Grade 3 Mathematics. Hello my dear students. Hope you all are doing well. Let's start today's journey. My dear students, can you all remember the place value lesson you did when you were in grade 2? There we learn the place value of two digit numbers. Let's quickly revise that nice lesson. Look at this. Do you all know these blocks represent units? That means a single digit. Units are called as blocks. Can you all see the yellow blocks? Yes, these blocks make a rod. Ten ones make up one of the next larger unit that is called as tens. Two digit numbers are represented in rods. Tens are called as rods. Now, teacher is going to give you a number and you have to represent that number using blocks and rods. Are you all ready? My number is 38. Well done. Hope you all got the correct answer. Now, let's check the answer. That was a small revise from grade 2 place value lesson. Now let's come to today's topic. Today we are going to learn the place value. Introducing 100 place value. Okay children, what is the world today? In this lesson, we are going to learn about the place value of three digit number. Represent numbers in packs, rods and blocks. Expand a number according to the place value. Represent a number in the abacus. Look at this children. Can you all count the blocks? Yes. There are 9 blocks under the unit column. What will happen if we add another 1 block for this? Then the value change as 10. Can we keep 10s in units place? No. We have to transfer 10 blocks into 1 rod. Look at the table. So there is no value in units place. Show it as 0 and 110 in 10's place. So write 1 under 10's column. Now TJ is drawing 9 rods under the 10's column. Then how do we write the value? Yes, we should write 9 under 10's column and 0 under units column. Good. Now tell me by adding a rod what is the value comes for the 10th place. Can we do like that children? No. We cannot keep 10 rods in 10th place because 10 rods together become a 100. So we have to show the 100 as a pack and needs to place it on the 100 place. Let's learn how to draw a pack. Children, you all know that 10 blocks together make a rod. Remember, when you are drawing a rod, you can't keep any spaces between the blocks. To represent the hundreds, we are using packs. In a pack, there are hundred blocks together and in another way, there are ten rods together. All the blocks should be same in size.
Shall we do an activity, children? Right. Let's discuss and show the place value of a three-digit number using packs, rods and blocks. The number is 100. How do we represent 100? First, we should draw a table. When we represent 100, we draw a pack under a 100 column and leave tens and units column because there are no tens and units. Here is another task. My number is 136. Let's quickly draw it in a table under hundreds, tens and units. Alright, let's draw packs to the following number. The number is 200. How do we draw packs to number 200? When you are drawing packs more than one pack, remember first draw a single pack. Now you all know how to draw a pack. Then Skip a block from left side and draw 10 blocks in horizontal way. Then count and draw 10 blocks vertically. You can outline the packs with different colors. Here is an example how to draw packs, rods and blocks in your maths writing book. Now you all know how to draw packs, rods and blocks according to the given number under the correct column. Do you like to take a challenge? Okay, this activity for you. You should draw packs, rods and blocks to the following number. Letter A, 250. Letter B, 305. Letter C, 400. Here is the way you should represent 250. And remember, you should write the number under the packs, rods and blocks. There are two packs under hundreds. There are 5 rods under tens and there are 0 blocks under units. The next number is 307. There are 3 packs under hundreds. There are 0 rods under tens and there are 7 blocks under units. 400. There are only 4 packs under hundreds and no tens and no units. Have you ever learned how to draw the abacus? Yes, you already learned it when you were in grade two. Representing a number on an abacus. Let's get an example 678. This number is a three digit number. So to represent this number, we need one more spike. This spike represents the number of hundreds. Let us place the number 6, 7, 8 in a place value chart. We know that this number has 6 hundreds, 7 tens and 8 ones. So we put 6 beads in the 100 spike then put 7 beads in the 10 spike and finally put 8 beads in the unit spike thus the number 678 is represented in the abacus example 2 represent the number 820 let us place the number 820 in a place value chart we know that this number has 800s, 
two tens and zero units. So we put eight beads in the hundreds pile, two beads in the tens pile, and there are zero beads in the units pile. So we don't put any beads in the unit spike. Thus the number 820 is represented in the abacus. Example 2. Represent the number 905. Let us place the number 905 in the place value chart. We know that this number has 900, 0, 10 and 5 units. So we put 9 beads in the hundreds pile, 0 tens. So we don't put any beads in the tens pile and finally put 5 beads in the units pile. Now the number 905 is represented in the abacus. Dear children, Remember that you must follow some kind of rules when you are drawing abacus. Balls should be colored and attached to one another. Don't keep spaces in between. And counters should name H, T, U, the first letters of hundreds, tens, units. Here is the way you should draw an abacus in your maths writing book. Observe it. How do we write the number in expanded form? The expanded form of the number is used to show the place value of each digit. Other way, writing the number as the addition of the place value of its digit. So here they have given 259. So how do we write 259 in expanded form? First 200, then 50 and then 9. So remember that you have to put the plus mark in between numbers. Can you all remember the fourth rule we use in our classroom? What is that? Yes, make smart choices. Now the time for you to wear your thinking cap to solve these sums. Show the following numbers in the abacus and write the number in the expanded form. A. 330 B. 452 C. 247 D. 369 E. 218 Now you all can check your answers with me. First one. 330 Second one 452 Third one 247 Fourth one 369 The last one is 218 Good job! Can I see your A star faces? Well done! This is the end of today's lesson. Hope to see you all in the next lesson. Until then, stay safe my children. Thank you. Goodbye.